You know, I've been studying this myself for a very long time. And I am thoroughly convinced that this is not a political problem. And this is not a social problem. And truth be told, this isn't even a fixable problem. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you can't pick your gender and you can't pick your race. And I'm like thinking, Alex, who is making these rules? Some satanic worshiping leftist in Hollywood, some elite is putting, making all these stupid, ridiculous rules. This is nothing more than the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Then he opens his eyes on what we call the big world. You're not stopping it. It's gonna happen. There's a hole in our culture where there should be a discussion about maturity, truth, and responsibility. No one's talking yes. about that. Communism is a lying, dirty, shrewd, godless, murderous, determined, as J. Edgar Hoover says, a criminal conspiracy. So I don't, I don't know the answers, man. I can just tell you that this it's gonna get worse. The world is the Titanic. It is going down. There's nothing that's gonna fix it. It's an international criminal conspiracy. I think of a lot of things. The first thing I think is that we actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. Um. And the best effort that man can do is just rearrange the deck furniture on the top, and that's it. And what Solzhenitsyn did was say, look, this wasn't a consequence of the Marxist system gone wrong. This was a consequence of the Marxist system. The only meaningful thing that can be done at this point is trying to get souls into the lifeboat. And the lifeboat's name is Jesus Christ. We were taught by our communist leaders and ordered to believe that truth is anything that will promote communism. Therefore, nothing is a lie if it helps the party. So the communists use the lie as a weapon, a shield, and a tool. When you keep that in mind, at last, you begin to understand them. It even calls for infiltration into the National Guard units. Revolutionaries posing as non-militants for the purpose of getting free military training and for gaining access to critical military supplies and heavy weapons. Everyone's in on the Great Reset. Well, almost everyone. There's one guy who's got the power to do something to stop it, and he knows exactly where I'm going. Since it is their sworn duty to tell us whatever will best serve their cause, we should always suspect they are lying. What I've learned is that every political view has a spiritual basis for that view. And I am convinced that communism is nothing more than a political expression of the occult. These alarmists always demand the same thing, absolute power to dominate, transform, and control every aspect of our lives. We will never let radical socialists destroy our economy, wreck our country. The more people that there are out there who have their acts together, the better the probability that we're gonna be able to manage it. Because we've all got some pretty hard decisions to make coming up real fast. And the whole world is lined up in a yin-yang type thing where the good versus bad, and black versus white, and yin versus yang. And God's not in any of that. We uh, are trained Marxists. Um. But we shut the whole world down. And you're waiting on the Democrats to fix your life? <laughs> you're waiting on the Republicans to fix your life? <laughs> Two days after Donald Trump gave that speech, the 89-year-old leftist weirdo billionaire George Soros made an emergency intervention where, at Davos once again, warning that the U.S. 2020 election will determine the, quote, 
Fate of the Whole World. Those are two wings attached to the same bird and that bird is corrupt. And the whole system is Mystery Babylon. You have Mystery Babylon over here and then you have the Kingdom of God over here. And they're not the same. They are completely incompatible. Los Angeles County is home to one of the largest jail systems in the world. Because Washington can't even fix itself. It's the island of misfit toys. And it is a dangerous country right now. It will be absolutely dangerous if Trump wins re-election. Class hatred and open class warfare are their specialty. If they can get a few people killed, well, so much the better. As some were killed. Francis invited this guy to the to the Amazon Senate as an honored guest and advisor. He's also Bernie Sanders' advisor. What's he doing in the Vatican? Why is this guy who is a promoter for socialist out and out socialist Bernie Sanders? What's he doing advising the Pope? Why does he have entree to the Vatican friends? Satan has his politicians. The communists are past masters at getting other people to do their dirty work for them. They take over organization after organization in America in just two steps, infiltration and agitation. This is what they work at day and night. This is what accounts for much of their success. Pro criminal and overwhelmingly elected with George Soros' money. I'm not sure we need to bring George get Soros the into this. I was gonna say you get the last word, he Speaker. <laughs> he, he, he paid for it. I mean, why can't we discuss the fact that millions no, of dollars he spent? I, I agree with Melissa. Well, George Soros doesn't need to be a part of this conversation. We sincerely believe that we have a true duty to one another uh, and to our God to build a world that um, I think he or she requires of us. I think he or she requires of us. And Satan also has his preachers. And Satan's game's always been the same, is infiltrate and imitate. That's what he's always done. And Satan loves to play both sides. He is the yin and he is the yang. Clearly, I consider the Trump administration a danger to the world. But I regard it as a purely temporary phenomenon that will disappear in 2020. The Titanic is going down and there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. You can't stop this. The only thing you can do is get on the life raft. 2 Timothy chapter 3, Paul told Timothy about a group of people that were ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, and that these are also men that resist the truth, men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. And so we needed the government to help us. I'm from the government and I'm here to help is a phrase that should cause you to be terrified. And everybody's got opinion and everybody's got a point of view, but nobody really has the truth today. Where do you find the truth? Well, you find it right here. And we're going to show you what the truth is. When we get mad enough to call a halt or something, they back up and say, okay, don't get excited. Let's coexist. So we relax again. We give them a chance to consolidate their gains. And then they come in with a new sneak punch. What it all boils down to is just what J. Edgar Hoover said. It's the greatest danger we face in the world today. Because in a world of lies, you must know the truth. So when they tell you, when they tell all of us, to stay home. And in a world of lies, the man who tells the truth is a hero and a villain at the same time. And so what value can you place on truth in this world? Well, I don't know how you measure that, but I know that truth is very valuable. They are godless. To me, this is perhaps the most frightening word of all because it accounts for every other bad word that describes them. What is, what is going on there? That's a really about profession. Okay, can we get a close-up on that? Yeah, we're working on that. What is the profession? Yeah, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Of course it's legal. It's only in my profession. So grandma doesn't get sick. Please understand what's really going on here. They don't care about your grandmother. They don't care about old people, these people. They don't care about babies. 
Okay. It's too many diamonds. Ah, that's too bright. Oh, that's too bright. Go ahead, anyway. Oh, Macy, are you a Macy? Of course I am. Okay. Go ahead, anyway. Oh, Macy, are you a Macy? Of course I am. Okay. And the name of the game now is to bring the United States economy to its knees, get it out of the way, so that everyone will want the Great Reset. Make the new normal so intolerably abnormal that even you and I, maybe, you know, at some point in the near future, we'll be begging for whatever else is going to keep us safe according to our jailers and our handlers and our zookeepers. You see? That's what they want. That's why they keep using this term, new normal. And we want you to know the truth of the Word of God because we know that the truth will set you free. Why are we surprised? What do you expect of a people who say the church is our enemy and must be destroyed? No one can be a true communist and hold any religious convictions. I say to you, it is bad to be irreligious, but it is far worse to be anti-religious. Not only that, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you want the way to heaven, and you want the truth of the Word of God, and you want to live an abundant life, then you need Jesus Christ. And we hope to point you to Him. So ask yourselves why they hate this man. These folks, these men, they hate God. They hate the unborn. They hate the traditional family. They hate you. So join us as we give you the truth of the Word of God and help us as we try to point the world to the truth. The Titanic is sinking. It's time to get on the lifeboat because there's nothing you can do. Nothing. And come join us as we give the truth to the world.